Well guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm not fishing and I'm actually not in Maine today. We're on vacation. We're in Ohio right now. As I'm filming this, I'm in Ohio. I love it here. I love Ohio guys. I don't know if you know but love Ohio. It is our last day here so as you guys are seeing this video, we are back in Maine. But uh, I got a bunch of stuff. We went through Oklahoma, Texas, Ohio. So on the journey there and stuff and back, I got a bunch of fishing stuff I want to show you guys. And as you can tell by the title, it's about $300 worth of uh, fishing stuff. So gonna show you guys and I'm gonna start out with a couple of stuff. I got a rumming, rumming uh, yard sale basically, a big yard sale here in Ohio. So I'll start out with that stuff. So first off is this the foldable, this foldable fishing rod. It's not the best looking, but I got it because it came with a couple other things that I wanted. So my bag came with a set of stuff. So I think I'll be doing a video on this. Eventually you guys will see. But I got that. And then I got a bunch of like perch and crappie stuff here. There's a bunch of soft plastics and stuff. A couple of some weights and stuff. So I got that. And then I got this box of like rooster, rooster tails and like spinners. These I like fishing these for brook trout and even bass too. So got Bunch of little box of that. So that's what I got at the yum woman sale. And I got all that. I got these, right? All this stuff right here for twenty dollars. So I figured that's a good deal. You know, one of these rooster tails is like full box. So good deal. I decided to get that. So now on to the new stuff here. So first. Stopped at a store, like a sporting goods store in New Hampshire, and got some stuff. I got a stringer, so when I'm booked out fishing and I want to keep a couple of fish to eat, have that to put on as a rope stringer. So, awesome, made by Buckley. So, I got that, and then I got a couple soft plastic for trailers, maybe. Got black and blue, then I got white. Right. And then I got a couple, couple sh spoons. And if you know me, guys, I love Thomas spoons. I had to get a couple of these here. Love these spoons. So I got those. Then I got a couple. There's a bin of spoon spoons there. Like these. These are made two bucks. Got these for two dollars. So not bad at all. But these are made in New Hampshire. So I figured. Never really seen anything like that too, so I figured pick them up, see how they are. We got orange, silver, pink, and gold. So hopefully they'll do good. And then I also got some eagle claw tungsten rum rates. Got that there. So got those. And we start in Texas. I do the good stuff now. In Texas, we stopped at Guggen Squad HQ. So that was awesome. So we stopped there and I got some stuff at Guggen Squad HQ. Nobody was there, they were all out and stuff, so I didn't meet anyone. But the cash register, he was awesome. You talked to him for a little bit. But I saw, I got some stuff at Guggen Squad HQ. Got this uh, Team Guggen. Sure. Love it. And then I also got this. Sure. Join the takeover. And it says Google and Scroll on the side there, so got that. <clears throat> and then I got a couple of crankbaits here. Google and Scroll crankbaits. So I got those are two crankbaits I got. Then I got a couple jigs here. 
with focus. I got those. And then I got a Pandino box, black and blue. I got that. And then the guy working there, he threw in a couple Guggen Squad, Guggen Squad stickers, six of them too. And they do a, and these are two dollars a piece. So I got all these for free. So awesome! Thank you. You know, love the guy working there. Love the guy working at Guggen HQ in the storefront. So. In Oklahoma, we stopped at Bath Pro Shops. I got a couple things there. Got a Bath Pro Shops hat. And then also got some more Guggen stuff at Bath Pro Shops. Got uh, Lunker Logs. This is uh, in the uh, Green Pumpkin Blue. Got that, can't wait. We fish a lot of these, a lot of these in uh, tournaments that I fish. So, see how these do. And then we got some Crunch and Craw. Got some more Pandino bugs right there. Yeah, that. And then got some KVD Strike King. And got some more Strike. We got I got I got got a couple of lipless paint baits right here. So I actually did, I got these at a gas station actually. So I got a couple of those. Alright, uh, KVD.1 crankbait. Right there. Focus. Then I got this very deeper diver crankbait as well. And then I got a pack of these. And then, as you guys know me, Maybe if you've seen a couple of my videos, I love throwing shadow baits, so I got a couple of Z-Man shadow baits right there. And then I got a Chris Lane series top water. And this uh this bait, the guy who's fishing tournaments is Bob. If you haven't seen the video, I haven't had that video is not out yet, but he he was using something exactly like this. Different company though, and a little different. Man, he caught so many fish. Only six, but nice ones too. All small mouth. So I decided I'd pick myself up one. So I did. So, so I then I also got this storm, like jack bait, right there, and the gold. So I got that. And then I got this Bath Pro Shop Jack Bait. Little, little, little different thing. I got that. And then I got some Bath Pro Shop Jigs. Rattling Jigs. Yeah, these have rattles in them. So I got that. And I got another Bath Pro Shop Jig. They have black and blue. And then I got some fishing line. I got some string, 12 pounds for the spinning reel. And then some 14 pounds for the bait caster. I wanted 15 pounds for the bait caster, but they didn't have any. I was looking, I was looking through all the companies. There's no 15 pounds, so I just got some 14 pounds. So that's it. That's everything that three hundred dollars worth of fishing tackle. Uh, I just showed you guys, and there is something I do want to go over something right quick. Right, the Guggen bait. The packaging on this, I love it. That the Strike Kings, I love the Guggen Squad packaging on this. Way better than Strike Kings. Same with the Bandino Bugs. I love this, how they package these better than Strike Kings. Same with these, I love this better. It's Guggen Squad and the, and the Jigs. I like how they package the Jigs. Guggen Squad, I haven't fished any of their base yet, but so far, it's a good 
50. I will be rating these out of 50. How good they catch me fish and packaging. So 50% so far for Google Base because the packaging I love it far better than any other companies how they package their stuff. They're easy, they're easy to read, I tell you what, and I love that. So yeah, man, that's that's everything. That's all of it. So that's that's everything I got on this trip, fishing wise. I got a couple other Star Wars things, but you guys don't care to see that. So, uh, yeah, that's the haul. Can't wait to put some of this stuff to the test. See how it fishes, especially the Guggen Bait. I can't wait to use some Guggen Bait. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys all next time on another video. Till next time, guys. Get out there fishing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you all.